Hi, sign, fire sign. What is happening, fire sign? Hi, welcome, welcome to Reading Journey. I am, uh, who am I? Chief Empress Healing Flower, AKA Journey. You can just call me Journey, baby. How you doing, fire signs? Those of you who are new, welcome. You're coming back, welcome back. So I just wanted to let you know, um, for those of you who are new, I'm clairvoyant, clear sentient, clear audience. Um, in other words, I can hear, feel, see energies. I can also smell energies. I can also um, dream dreams and interpret them. And I also have visions. That's not to toot my own horn. That's just to tell you who I am. Who I tap into is the most high creators, mama and papa of it all. Can't have the masculine without the feminine. Can't have the feminine without the masculine. I don't tap into deities. No shade on the deities. But I only tap into the creators of the creators who created the deities. All right. So let's get into it. So fire signs. First thing I want to say is somebody is in love with the fire sign. Okay, I know that's not for all of you, so just hang with me. Hang tight. Um, somebody's very much in love with you. They're very sad. Um, I'm also going to stab them for what they've done. Okay. So this person is like literally just laid out. <laughs> they are lost without you. And then I heard the song, Lost Without You. <laughs> I heard that one by Robin Thicke. This person like just feels like they just can't go on without you. Okay, I see 9.44 on the clock because you've grown, you've outgrown them and you've made a judgment. So they're feeling judged by you because you're not communicating. You don't have anything to deal with this person anymore and you are D-O-N-E, done. And this person wants a commitment with you. I also heard, I'm hearing, should have married you, but I didn't. They did, they listened to the wrong folks, the wrong people. Okay. All right. So let's get into it. Get into it. All right. Let's start with Mahogany Tarot, shall we? My little peanut butter butt. Fire sign. Fire sign. No, I love fire sign. Okay. Child, please. Nobody needs a country song. Nobody needs a country song. All right. Let's get into it. Somebody's having a tower moment. Let's take a look. Hold on. I don't feel like the tower is bad, though. Let's see, sweet spirit. Hold on, hold on. Ooh, and I almost see all the judgment card. What is going on? Okay, can't deny that. Got the hangman. Can't deny that. That was a hopper. These cards are talking. Are these reversed? No, they are not. Saw the judgment card again. Can't deny it. I was gonna make sure I see it. All right, hold on here. Okay. All right, so I feel like though this is a good thing though, sweetheart. You're in your strength. You're in your strength, you're in your power with this Leo here. I feel like, okay, this is, uh, okay, hey man, I feel like you are choosing to keep yourself quiet. I'm hearing that. You're keeping stuck, quiet, not telling people what you're doing. You're making moves though. You're also coming out of poverty. I feel like you, if you've had some challenging with fi challenges with finances, you're coming out of that. Um, there's some type of judgment ha happening here to bring you back into your strength and into your power. Okay. What else we got here? Yeah, Wheel of Fortune. Something's coming to an end, sweetheart. Something is cycling closed. Okay. So there's been a judgment and you being, you're being brought back into your, I'm hearing peace, peace and power. And it's because you're choosing. You're like, yeah, no, nah, I'm not fucking doing that. Sorry, I'm like, sorry. Not doing that. Not doing the poverty thing. So I definitely get from the universe. They're like, yeah, you heard her or you heard him. They're not doing that. And so they're also helping you to have the strength that you need to go forward to bring this wheel to a close. I feel like you're doing it though, fire sign. Whoever you are, you are closing and moving, making that wheel move. Ow! Ten of Pentacles. You're bringing into Ten of Pentacles. You're bringing the finances to yourself. I said that. I told you. You are coming out of poverty. You're like, I'm not doing this shit with you. Sorry. We're not doing that. That's not for me. Um, I like to spend money. I'm a fire sign. So, yeah, no. So, anyway, so what you're doing is you're, again, closing the deal. You could be closing a deal on something. I'm also here closing on a house. Somebody's closing on a house. You could be buying your first property. You're building wealth. And somehow you're building wealth here. Something's happening where you're building wealth. And that's good. I like it. I like it a lot. Somebody's burdened though by your success, baby. They're burdened by your sex success, baby. 
So keep going. Keep going, fire signs. If you don't see this just yet, keep going because whatever you're doing is working, okay? Long time coming. Yeah, world card. Come on. Come on. Sweetheart. Sweetheart. Hey, we hey, hey. Listen, fire signs. What the hell? What you doing? Ace of Pentacles? All right. This is amazing. I think this goes like this. This is freaking amazing. Fire signs, your future is bright. I'm getting that clearly. Your future is bright because you're not fucking around. What is this? Three of Cups. Yeah, you're picking, you're making your life so you can celebrate. So you can celebrate. Somebody wants to come and make an offer though. Somebody's working hard to come. <laughs> Somebody working hard. Look at, look at. Somebody working hard. Now there's two things I'm getting. One scenario I'm getting is somebody's working hard. Somebody wants to make an offer to you, but there's a fish in that. I don't know if I trust that. But I also get this other thing I get too is as you work hard, something is moving towards you. Somebody sees you building that wealth for yourself. Somebody knows. Listen, fire signs. Somebody knows you're you're bringing this in. They know you. I'm getting this clearly. This is family, lover, ex, somebody. They know you. I'm here and I know you better than know yourself. Okay. And they know once you make your mind up on something and you get on your grind, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. So you're bringing in celebration for yourself. I'm here. Party. Okay. You're bringing in celebration for yourself. You're working hard. You're pull this is you pull you're pulling this in. You're pulling these things into you. Somebody, okay, the universe is pulling this to you because you're pulling it. Am I making sense? You know what I'm saying. Because you made your mind up, you literally put yourself like this. Like, nope, ain't settling in for less. You see this halo on my head? I know who the hell I am. And I don't have to settle for less. So therefore, I'm coming out of poverty. I done told the universe what I wanted. I'm calling it in. I'm standing in my strength. They're helping support you with the strength. You could be seeing a lot of animals. You could be getting a lot of signs from like animals. Um, nature is giving you signs. Butterflies. I'm hearing that as well. Birds. But you are literally, darling, you're making the damn wheel turn. This is beautiful. Bringing in wealth for yourself. Uh, dang. That's beautiful. And it's like I feel, this is what I feel. And it's funny because I'm holding this card to the side like I could care less. You, I don't think you care what's going on with this person. This energy could also represent a, a, a group of fake, fake phonies. That's what I feel. You are the least bit interested. Like, they're on the side somewhere. And what I feel like is you've sealed up something where no matter what, you're going to get what you want. And I don't know how to explain it. I don't even think you know you did this. You did this spiritually some kind of way. You either sent up prayers or asked the ask wisdom from the divine God, he, she, or whatever you believe in. To make sure that you get what is entitled to you. Something you did. Something you either, you could have wrote it out and signed it. You could have etched it in stone. You could have did, you could have just said it like, no, this is what I'm not doing. Okay, God, I need you to help me on this. Like, I already know what's supposed to be mine. I got some interference. Block these M efforts, right? That's what I'm getting. Like, I feel like you are like, not playing. I'm here clearly not settling for less. That's a no. It's not going to happen. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, ain't much else for me to say. Far side of your line, you're reading 9 33 o'clock. Yeah. You've had a lot of growth. You master what you need to master. You know it. The universe knows it. Everything is agreeing. I feel like the whole world, I feel like everything is agreeing with you. Here go Quan Quan Yin even agreeing with you. Quan Quan Yin even agreeing with you. Look at that lotus. Her heart, your heart is open. You've grown a lot. 
Like you're, you're going in with power, but you're also going with grace. And they're asking you to choose compassion and grace. And I feel like you are. I feel like though that's somebody too. Somebody wants you to have mercy for them. This person over here, this person right here, they're like, please, how can you call yourself sorry? How can you say you're sorry? How can you say, oh, you're so kind and you're an enlightened being when you won't even talk to me? Uh, yeah, no. All right, I'm not even going to dig fire sign. I'm not going to even dig that deep because I already know. Baby, you ain't got to explain a thing to me, fire sign, because I already know. Fire sign, if you drop this person or you drop these people, I know why you did it. I don't even, you don't even got to share. I already know. I literally ought to know. I know why you did it. And you don't have to explain to them. Not a darn thing. And I don't think you care anyway. You ain't, <laughs> I really don't think you're going to explain shit to them anyway. Like, you know what you did. That's the feeling I'm getting. Like, you already know what you did. Let's not play games here. We both know what you did. We know what all of you did. Right. Yeah, we know what you did. All right, so what's the advice for, hold on, fire sign, something's calling me. Yeah, eyeglasses. Baby, you ain't blind. You ain't blind. You can read. You can read. So I feel like, see, you see something. You see this person for who they are. And you made a judgment clearly. The Most High has shown you who this person is, who they are. See, they did something behind your back because i'm here i'm seeing something about fine print so something that you've seen and you've assessed and you've reviewed and you've gone over this over and time and time again i feel like you gave this person or people too many damn chances and i'm hearing they took advantage there could be a taurus involved you know what since they want to talk let's see what else they did hold on what else they do Yeah, right now you yeah, see, you you're focused right now. You know what this person or people is all about. Okay, some type of communication here. Let's see. What were they communicating? What were they communicating, this sweet spirit? What is this? night a leo did something immaturely or somebody worked with a leo who was doing something immaturely was saying gossip about you could have been a cancer also involved or somebody all in their emotions was spreading lies about you making calls telling people spreading things on social media lying lying just making up shit doing immature baby shit yeah, and then act like they ain't did nothing with this blinders on. Yeah, trying to cause confusion. Somebody knew you were innocent too, I'm getting that. But they wanted to play martyr and victim. They didn't want to see things. They didn't see, want to see you truly for who you were. So somebody here, I feel like there's more than one energy, but there's one person, particular person that's sticking out to me who knew that these things that were said about you were not true. But they chose to play a victim and act like they don't see shit. So now it's coming back to them. Yeah, because they wanted to have power and strength. They wanted to also, I'm here, be better than you. One more, please. So this is why you're not messing with them. And you have Revy right not to. Again, I'm here immature. Yeah, somebody tried to to delay you. Delay you. Catch you, keep you confused, keep you in a maze. Stop you from finding something out or stop you from going forward. Yeah, somebody was taking crack shots at you, just like this card says. Doing dumb stuff. Because they thought they were smarter than you. A Capricorn as well. Or they could have taken Capricorn energy. Thought they were smarter than you. Or devil energy. Thought they, this, whoever this is, they thought they were better than you. They thought you ain't shit. And they thought they were better. But since then, they've come to realize that you are the shit. Do you smell it? 
<laughs> yeah. So now they realize. So let's see what's the message, sweet spirit, that you want to give the fire sign, please. Now they smell it. Now they know who you are. They realize your shit. Do not stink. Soap that. Soap that. What the hell? What's this mean? Soap that. Okay. Unlimited potential. Sacred mission initiation. So let's see what's going on with you. I ain't surprised to see this card. Because, yo, fire sign, you on a whole nother level, boo. Let's see what they got to say. You on a whole nother level. Okay. All right. So, oh, this is the Egyptian name from Sirius. Sirius. Dang. Okay. One of the most important stars. Look at that, baby. You are one of the most important stars, Fire Sign. Do you hear that? Look at that. All right, let's read it. Says the energy of wishing on a star and seeing that wish come true is with you now. Ow! This is the time to push forward with any projects or ideas that you feel called to carry out. You are a powerful being with unlimited potential. I'm not surprised. Yo, listen. Don't let yourself be held back by anyone or anything. If you see, if you set your heart on something, there is no doubt that it will come to fruition because you are unlocking your star power. I'm freaking telling you with this Wheel of Fortune, Ten of Pentacles, World Card, and Ace of Pentacles, baby, somebody about to have some money. Somebody about to be okay. You hear me? And if it's not money, you're going to be secure, at peace, whatever you, listen, this is a material card. You're going to be okay. You're going to have what you need. You're going to be quite comfortable. You're going to be happy, comfortable, whatever that it is. Different people are comfortable in different ways. 300,000 may make somebody else comfortable where 10 million may make somebody else comfortable. You know what I'm saying? A mansion might make somebody comfortable. This might be their, their ace of pentacles, but somebody else... A tiny house and some land. That's their ace of pentacles. So it all depends on what it is you're desiring. So let's keep going. It says you are destined to shine brightly in this lifetime. And all the experiences you are having at this time are in alignment with the sacred mission. Spies on you better go on with yourself. There's an energy of positivity, abundance all over this month. Okay abundance and excitement around you and this will help you turn your visions into reality you deserve to experience do you hear me i don't have to tell you though this far side you already know that's why you're like i'm not settling for anything less i see this gold crown around my head i'm not settling i'm not being broke y'all can have that Cause I'm coming out of it. I saw that little joke you tried to pull. I'm coming out of that. I made a judgment. Okay. I got all my angels, guys, the most I got everybody on that. They're giving me the strength I need. Okay. They're giving me the strength I need. I'm closing and sealing the deal on all this shit. You're not taking my shit. You're not going to keep me stuck. I don't think so. I'm a fireside. You better get out of here with that foolishness. I'm calling in what I need. I'm calling. I'm here and calling in my servants. I heard that in another reading where it wasn't fire signs. It was a collective reading where y'all were calling in what you needed, calling in lawyers, calling in financial. I'm like, yo, somebody was calling a maid. Like, okay. Hey, you know what you need? I ain't judging. Shit. All right. So that's it. That's it, Fire Sign. Thank you so much, sweetheart. Sleep peacefully. Rest peacefully. That's the message that the most I want you to know. So keep calling it in. Know your cosmic power. Because that's the energy that's supporting you right now. Peace, health, and harmony. If you want to find me again, hit that like button or subscription button. Otherwise, take care. Bye-bye.